Being a smart and successful personality, it will be far easier for you to make friends in the future. If you dream about summer like this, but you have no friends or you're an introvert, you still have a chance to have a great time and I'm gonna help you with that. Actually, during my childhood summers, I never had that problem because I always had people to hang out with, but becoming a teenager, my interests started to change and I lost interest to communicate with my old friends and actually they no longer understood me, they restricted my potential and yeah, I have quite an unpleasant experience with quitting my friends community. If you're interested in that topic, write in the comments down below, I'm gonna make a video about it. But for now, I wanna concentrate on the topic of that video. Actually, I'm totally responsible for my own time, for my summer adventures and you know, I'm constantly busy I'm working on my skills on my habits and I feel tremendously good to spend my time alone and there are some steps that in my opinion will help you to enjoy your life even if you feel lonely a bit actually not lonely I think that we haven't just met the right people yet but we're gonna do that in the future so let's enjoy our lives and the first step is to be honest with yourself and never compare your life to someone else's life my biggest issue was that I thought that there was something wrong with me because uh, I thought that it is better to have friends and spending time alone is not a cool thing and uh, though I felt tremendously good to spend my time alone, but I felt that this is not right and, and I'm just a bit girl who cannot make friends. But you know guys, a real treasure is when you're constantly berating yourself, you pushing yourself to go to people who cannot understand you, you remain utterly uncomfortable, you dig your self-confidence as deep as possible, you destroy your not already formed personality, you become insecure. But say it the right way, I'm not saying that living in a comfort zone and meeting new people is a bad thing, it's a good thing, it's a maiden thing, but I'm talking about situations when uh, you have a toxic environment, you feel like you should spend more time for studying or improving hobbies, or you just feel more comfortable to spend time alone. Some teens would probably say that it is better to drink, have time in the clubs, or hang out, waste time, but you have your own choice, your own opinion, and you're able to do things you really love, and if you prefer to be alone, just let you be. If you feel really lonely and you feel like you should speak with someone, write in the comments down below, I can chat with you. You're not alone. I'm introvert too. <laughs> Number two, work hard in silence. Let your success make noise. Just write down this quote and put it on your desk. The thing is, three years ago, I made an important decision to not listen to anyone and just do things I love and improve my skills in areas that are interesting for me. Actually, since then I've been learning English and you can see the results. If you cannot understand what you want to do, just try things you are interested in because the first step is the most important here. I remember I made my first video at the age of seven. I took my mom's phone and I just started to make a short clip. I pretended to be the blogger and I just showed some food to the camera and talked about whatever. So just try it because you will not understand if you don't try, right? And then gradually you will understand what things bring pleasure to you and you will try to improve in that particular fields, areas, hobbies, things like that. If you still cannot understand what hobbies seem really interesting for you, you can see a couple of YouTube videos about that topic uh, from psychologists because I'm not really good at it. Or maybe you can watch some motivational YouTube videos. You will see that cool things will happen after you watch them because I personally always become inspired by watching these videos, so it's up to you. If you really want to enjoy your time, you should spend this time with a purpose. And in order to have this purpose, you should think really clearly about what you want. Write down your goals, put it on your desk near the quote, and just start to spend your time with purpose. Invest your time in yourself and develop yourself. Third thing. Bloggers can be amazing interlocutors, and I will not exaggerate if I say that they exerted a huge impact on my self-development journey, because having YouTube or other social media, we are able to follow people who have something in common with us or just jumping through hoops we are jumping through right now. And this is amazing, because we are able to get someone's experience, we are able to get someone's knowledge, and we just can listen to someone who is smarter or more creative in some way and especially being a teenager my values my concepts goals change from time to time and i suppose that every three or four months my personality changes completely like i have no goals no ideas if you have the same issue write in the comments down below so having the changes i 
constantly tried to find someone like blogger who understands me and had some problems with my apprehensive behavior or insecurity they always um, convinced me that everything will be alright they helped me to understand that I'm not the only one even if I wasn't able to communicate with them or say something to them directly um, I was able to listen to their speech and uh, that was really amazing. It's like reading a book. You get some information from someone who is better than you in some specific area. By the way, you can not only get some knowledge from the videos, but also you can become inspired thanks to special motivational videos or just uh, someone's personal brand. Quite frequently, my parents couldn't understand me. Actually, they not always understand me for now. Or my acquaintances couldn't understand me. Or I had some crazy ideas in my brain and uh, I couldn't sleep because of that and at that moment I always opened the YouTube and started to search for the videos with um, specific ideas or specific uh, situations and to listen to someone who uh, was going through the same stuff and I just uh, they actually calmed me down and I was able to uh, like deal with the problem by myself thanks to that social media so they exerted a huge impact on my self-development in my opinion the social media will exert a huge impact on me in the future and the last thing I want to mention in this video that you should probably do if you are an introvert or just person who enjoys to spend time alone this is reading and studying and I want to concentrate on reading because reading this is something that can easily distract me from the real world I enjoy reading and I frequently combine art literature with scientific literature because I'm kind of relaxing when I'm reading art literature and I'm getting new information while I'm reading scientific literature. So the approaches I apply for different literature are completely different. And this activity will not only help you to develop your skills or your knowledge, but also will help you to spend your time uh, really cool and your life can be more exciting. Okay guys, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that this video will help you to understand that spending your time alone is okay and feeling loneliness is absolutely normal. So.